This is a brief demonstration of the text import wizard command available in the En-ROADS product line. It will show you how to import ASCII data in order to create an En-ROADS surface DTM. Let's begin first by selecting file and going down to text import wizard. The first field you see is wizard name and we're going to keep it on new because we're creating a new wizard. The data type that we're doing now is surface, but notice that you have other types of data, horizontal alignment, horizontal event points, vertical alignment, Kogo points, and others. Place your cursor in the file name field and use the button to the right to browse out to the location of the file that you want to import. You might find it necessary to change your files of type filter from text import wizard text files to all files. This depends on how your particular file is named. We've got two different files that we're going to bring in, so first I'm going to select the break line file. Click open and then pick OK on the text import wizard dialog box. The first box that comes up is text import wizard step 104. This step allows you to define the lines we're going to import. If your file doesn't have header information, you can start at line 1. Otherwise, click at the beginning of the first line and right click to pick the option to start at, at this row. End import at line. It defaults to EOF, which is end of file, and we're going to keep this setting. Click Next. Step 2 of 4 is for applying filters and describing what type of data it is that you're bringing in, if it's fixed width or delimited. Our data is delimited. We're applying the filter to all lines and we're selecting delimited. Select Next. Step 3 of 4 allows you to specify what type of delimiter is used. Our data just has a space, so we're going to toggle on space as the delimiter and the software recognizes this and generates the columns for us. Select Next. Step 404 allows us to specify our column data formats. Highlight the first column and pick Easting. Highlight the second column and pick Northing. Highlight the third column and this is the elevation. The fourth column is our PIN code. Now you have the option to save this. Name the wizard and pick OK. Then select Finish. The Surface Options dialog box will come up. Here we specify the name of the surface we want to import the data into. I'm going to call it existing. We also need to specify the seed name and I'm going to put break line. Feature style, break lines, and point type. I'm going to specify break lines. Here you have five different point types to choose from. Random, break lines, contour, interior, and exterior. And here you specify the pin order, which is ones then zeros. Select OK. It comes up with a, a message box that tells you that it successfully imported 14 lines and 882 points. Pick OK. You also get a results dialog box where you can see your maximums and minimum northing, eastings, and elevations. Pick Close. Now we're going to go back and import our random points. So I'm going to go back to File, Text Import Wizard. I'm going to use the same wizard name because the data is almost identical to the first set of data that we brought in. Browse to the location of the file, change my Files of Type filter, and pick Random. Click OK. Notice that because we had already been through the steps and saved that wizard, it remembered the workflow and brought the data automatically into the Surface Options dialog box. 
I'm bringing the data into surface existing. Seed name this time is going to be random. Feature style random. Point type random. And, and select OK. Successfully imported one line in 7,551 points. Pick OK. Now I'm going to go to surface, triangulate surface. I'm going to triangulate my surface ex existing and select apply. The results show the number of points and triangles that have been triangulated and then select more and you can see your data totals and data ranges. Close this dialog. Close your triangulate surface dialog. Now that we've triangulated the surface, we can use the View Surface tools to see what our surface looks like. Go to Surface, View Surface, Perimeter, and pick Apply. Fit your view, and you can now see the perimeter of your new surface. Go to Surface, View Surface, Contours, Pick Apply, and you can see our contours. We have successfully imported a surface using the text Import Wizard command, and this concludes our demonstration.